Hello, comic book community. Lombok Love Affair here. So convention season is pretty much over, unfortunately. I was really bummed to see some of the conventions that I was hoping to go to get canceled. And one of the reasons I go to conventions is to meet creators, get some signatures, get some sketches on my books. Uh, and that's actually how I first started collecting CGC books because I never wanted to get my books signed raw because then if for some reason I want to pass them on to family in the future or want to sell them, you have to validate that the signature is real. So now uh, with CGC verifying books for the past many years, um, that's what, what I really enjoy grabbing at conventions. And so one of my favorite uh, artist Jim Lee has um, offered uh, not one, not two, but there are three opportunities that I've counted in my networks that um, you can currently send your books in, get them signed, get a little remark uh, on it, and then ship it off and get it slabbed for CGC. So I thought I would do a video to spotlight the three different companies I've seen that are doing this process. And I'm not gonna show a comic in this whole video, I'm just gonna talk about the, the three options that you have if you are interested in a Jim Lee signature on any of your comic books. So uh, a disclaimer, I am not being paid or, or you know, this is not an advertisement necessarily for any of these companies. I have not used any of these companies, so uh, I, I cannot vouch for them. But what I can say is that all three of these have enough traction in the community that I feel pretty safe uh, in assuming that they do quality work. Uh, I've seen other people in the comic community use uh, any number of these uh, services for a variety of, of comic book signatures, witnessing, and so forth. Um, and so basically what happens is each of these companies, they ask you to prepare your book so that it's ready to be signed. They give you the address, they give you the forms, and you ship it off to them. Once they receive your book, they will bill you for the price of, of that service. Uh, and then they will get that signature from Jim Lee uh, in their private signing uh, situation. And because there are three uh, companies, part of me wonders if Jim Lee just has blocked his time and has these companies coming in uh, help, uh, and, and just you know rapid fire signing these books. I'm not sure how it's being done, but um, one of the things I have noticed is that the prices do differ uh, from, from all three of these. And it's a critical time because these, uh, all these companies have started to uh, have deadlines. So the, the next deadline is uh, May 30th, 2020. Uh, then there's a, a June 6th, 2020 deadline, and then a July 1st, 2020 deadline. So uh, there is a little bit of time, but not much, but it's all within this condensed period of time that this is happening. So um, like I said, this is, this is not uh, an advertisement necessarily. It's, it's just giving information out there for the community and uh, I, I can't necessarily vouch for these services. So do your research, look into them. Uh, but I have had some questions from people asking me randomly about Jim Lee uh, signatures and I thought, well, it might be nice to do a video. So uh, the first one is Rocket Comics. So I'm going to be going in order of uh, soonest deadline to latest. Uh, so Rocket Comics has a website. They uh, direct you to uh, DM them on Instagram or email them on their website. So uh, so take a look at them. Their, their books for the Jim Lee signing are due on May 30th, 2020. So that's just around the corner from when I'm gonna be posting this video. So. For a Jim Lee signature, it's $55. Uh, if you want him to do a remark, and a remark is basically taking an existing comic book cover and having a small rough sketch done in ink on the side of it. And Jim Lee always does them, usually from the right side looking to the left. Uh, that's his profile that he does. Um, and so he does those for $355. Um, not only do they have Jim Lee, but they also have Scott Williams, who is his inker, and Alex Sinclair, who's a colorist. And you can get all three of those artist signatures. Uh, they're all different prices. So Scott Williams is a $15 signature and an $85 uh, remark. And so what he will do is he will ink over the Jim Lee remark, which is a very interesting proposition. I'm seriously considering that. Alex Sinclair is a $10 signature, and it's possible that he will color uh, the, the remark if you get a sketch. 
Um, but like I said, you don't have to do um, the remark. Purely, this is a, a signature opportunity, and that's where the bread and butter is going to come in. That's what that's what they're thinking is going to have the most traction. Um, so that those are just the artist fees. But on top of that, there's a $35 uh, plus shipping to CGC that you have to pay. There's a $10 fast track and a $15 or so to ship from CGC. So this, this all adds up. Uh, so essentially, if you do get a signature from Jim Lee only, it's $115 plus shipping. Uh, if you're getting a remark, it's $415 plus shipping. And that does not include if you get Alex Sinclair or Scott Williams in terms of the signature. Now, so these other two companies I'm gonna highlight have other fees attached. Rocket Comics doesn't. They are the lowest price for both services right now. Uh, and some lowest by a little bit and lowest by a lot, depending on uh, what service you're gonna get done. So there may be other fees in there. I wasn't sure from anything I looked at if there was. It seemed like it was pretty straightforward. So you'd be paying the 115 or the 415, depending on what you had done. Uh, so, th so that's Rocket Comics. Next up is The Underground, which is operated by KRS and Key Collectibles. Uh, not the app, but a different uh, person, I believe. So The Underground, they are a Facebook page. Uh, and they have their Jim Lee signing due on June 6th. So the signature is the same price as Rocket Comics. It's $55 for a Jim Lee signature. The sketch is about $20 more. It's $375 for a sketch, which is basically the remark which that I was talking about. Um, they also have Scott Williams, which is $20 for a signature. So it's $5 more than Rocket Comics and Alex Sinclair, which is $20 a signature, which is $10 more than Rocket Comics. So already we are paying a little bit more uh, for, for things. Uh, they do have a $20 witness fee and they have a $60 CGC fast track fee. Um, so if you have uh, one book, it's $60. Uh, if you have two books, it's $105, so you save uh, $15. If you have three books you're having signed, it's $145. So you, it's economies of scale. You have a little bit better price if you uh, have more books in there. Of course, you're spending more money. So uh, the total, if you're just doing Jim Lee, is $135 plus shipping for the signature and $455 plus shipping for the sketch. And that does not include Alex Sinclair and, and Scott Williams there. So um, so that's just something to keep in mind, there, that this is just estimates based on very base value. The last service is Trinity Comics. Trinity is also uh, on Facebook. They have their own group. You can join it just like you can join the Underground. Uh, their service for Jim Lee is due on July 1st. So um, at least that's how they originally advertised it, and I believe that still holds true. Their signature for Jim Lee is the highest in the bunch. It's $70 a signature, and the sketch is $400, which is $25 more than Underground, which was $20 more than Rocket. So you see where I'm going with this. There was no mention in Trinity for any of the other artists, the inker or the colorist, uh, Alex, William, or Alex Sinclair and Scott Williams. Uh, so keep that in mind if you do uh, are interested in, in Trinity. Uh, $45 CGC fast track and, sh and shipping, plus a 4% service fee, which covers Trinity's costs. So in the end, uh, if you're doing just a signature, it turns into be a little cheaper than KRS actually. So this, it pays to do your homework and compare. So it's $120 to ship, plus shipping for a signature. Um, but the fees are a little unclear. So th there could be an extra uh, something in there. Like I said, I'm not sure I'm not pursuing this at this point. Um, and then $463 plus shipping for a sketch. And that's just a Jim Lee remark. Uh, it's not Alex uh, Sinclair or Scott Williams. So really what this boils down is the cheapest by far is Rocket Comics. So for signatures, Rocket's uh, 115 plus shipping. Uh, un Trinity is 120 and Underground KRS is 135. Prices are widely different if you really think about it. And it does add up. 
Um, but, but with underground, the more you have signed, the cheaper the CGC price goes. Uh, they give you a discount, so keep that in mind. Uh, if you are doing the remark, Rocket Comics again wins with $415 plus shipping, uh, whereas the underground is next at $450, $55, and Trinity is $463. So they all are in sort of a ballpark. But the thing is, what's your timing? So uh, full disclosure, I'm hoping to move forward and send uh, an X-Men book off to be signed by Jim Lee. I'd like to get a remark. I'd like that to be inked and colored as well. I'm not sure if it's gonna get to me in time because I ordered that book. I wanted to get a really high grade one, so I ordered it on eBay. It should arrive by Tuesday or Wednesday. If I can prep my book by Wednesday, Thursday and get it in the mail so it gets there by Saturday, it's tight. So I might not make it, which gives me another alternative as I've done my research for Underground or Trinity. Um, it, this, this is an interesting business model, uh, these, these facilitators, because convention season's not happening. So this is our only opportunity to get sketches, signatures, whatever it might be. There are a lot of services out there. I am not disparaging any of them. I think they all do a great job uh, from what I've seen. And it's just a matter of finding the right one for you at the right price point. So my biggest takeaway for you all is price compare, do your, do your homework, uh, and be part of a, a variety of different groups. Like I said, Facebook, Instagram, uh, knowing the, the players, knowing the websites, check it out, and uh, hopefully you'll, you'll get back from yourself something that you're really interested in and, and, and keeping in your collection, um, which is, this is the whole purpose for me, is keeping this out, this book that comes back to me in the collection. So I look forward to moving forward and then showing you all the end result of, of what comes back uh, from one of these services. Hopefully this was an interesting video. Hopefully it was informative. Uh, and uh, if anything, gave you some resources of places to go if you're interested in any sort of signature or sketch. I would say all of these three services are not just Jim Lee. Jim Lee's the, the point of interest at this point because they have all have a signing with him at this point, but it's also about you know, Kevin Eastman, it's it's the other artists that they have on board right now. Brian Boland, I think, is another one that one of them uh, is facilitating. So it's finding who you want to grab a sig from and 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 making that happen and, and figuring out how much is it going to pay. Because if you think about it, you don't pay convention fees right now. You're not paying the admission. You're not paying a hotel. You're not paying an airfare if, it, if you have to fly to it. So there is some cost savings that we all are having at this point in time. Hopefully we'll be able to get back out to the convention scene, but uh, that's not happening anytime soon. And I don't think it's gonna happen until either the end of this year or early next, if that. So um, keep on our fingers crossed. So everybody stay safe, do your homework. Hopefully this was of interest. Let me know in the comments what you thought. If you're thinking of submitting to any of these services, I'd love to know uh, what, what you're thinking. And then also if you've worked with any of these services, put it in the comments, or if you know of others that you wanna shout out uh, that, that are good for people to know in the comic book community, I'd love to know about them. I'm sure other people would too. So thanks for watching everyone. Take care, bye-bye.